Congress and the White House are currently debating another possible round of coronavirus stimulus money that could include more help for businesses. Local 12's James Pilcher analyzed local data for the original $700 billion Paycheck Protection Program. He found some surprises, as well as one owner who was very thankful for his loan. Many have questioned some of the companies that have received money from Congress's Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP. At this company in Reading, however, it seems to have worked. Greg Davidis started Midwest Embroidery here back in 2014 and had built it into a half a million dollar business until the pandemic hit. He says without a loan of less than $100,000, he might not have made it and his workers would have been on unemployment. It shows you what can be done when there is a unified purpose. According to a Local 12 News analysis of the federal data, more than 3,200 companies in our area received $150,000 or more. That costs an estimated $2.4 billion. And according to the data, it saved nearly 180,000 jobs at an average cost of more than $13,000 per job. The data does not list specific loan amounts, nor does it list names for any business receiving less than $150,000. And our analysis did not include those smaller loans. Congressman Steve Shabbat is the ranking minority member for the Small Business Committee. His district received more money than any other in Ohio. Yeah, I think transparency is important. After all, these are taxpayer dollars, and I think people have a right to know where their money is going. On the other hand, um, you know, there was a concern about there might be naming and shaming. At least 230 area nonprofits, including churches, received money from the program. One such church is Solid Rock Ministries in Lebanon, which received as much as $350,000, even though it defied state orders regarding COVID. We actually included uh, nonprofits, uh, which is a little unusual, but there are a lot of folks out there that help other people that aren't necessarily profitable companies. Um, some were church groups, some were faith-based organizations. We reached out to several of the companies and churches we discussed in this story, but did not receive any comment. In Reading, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. Congressman Chabot also says Congress could include an extension of the program as part of a possible $1 trillion stimulus package next month. And we have posted a list of all the local businesses and nonprofits receiving $150,000 or more at local12.com.